What? This is um part seven. I just said radio less play. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start. We're gonna play Gong. But this is actually a re recording. Oh yeah. This is actually a re recording because um last time I did this. I was not feeling it. Oh. Oh snap. What's that? I was trying to get I was trying so hard to get that graffiti so it's just for me to get it first time. Oh, another graffiti solo? Hey! Hey! I actually I actually forgot about this spot. Hey! Hey! Yeah! Oh y'all, I had the weirdest dream. Okay, so basically, it was like the day of my um my birthday, right? Because all right, my birthday had already passed this year, but this was about my birthday for next year. And for some reason, I don't even know. Like, it was so strange. I don't even know how I came up with this. But basically, I wanted it to be like this weird pseudo surprise party like i have planned it with everyone like in this area that was uh, it, it was funky it was it was like this jungle but also it was like the jungle but also the woods like i don't know how you can do that i don't, I don't know if that's possible but like it was it was in that type of area, right? It was like jungle and also woods at the same time, and it was pretty cool. And that's where it was going to take place, right? There was like a clearing, right, in the in the area. That's where like the party was going to be at, right? And what wow, to get to the clearing, right? There was like actually like the jungle. The jungle woods looking place area. I don't know how else to describe it. But to get there, you have to follow like a specific path, or else you'd either get lost, or it would take you longer to get there, right? I was like, you want it to be really cool, right? And my, this is my dream, by the way. I was like, you want it to be really cool if this jungle, right, and the path. What if we made a new path that was longer on purpose? Yeah. And then I, be I guess you're wondering, like, why would you ever do that? Why would you want to do that? And I'm like, because I'm going to ride a motorcycle through this path. Because, like, motorcycles are really cool. Yeah. And, like, I really want one. But um, I wanted to feel like um, like some sort of action, action star. Like an action movie star for some reason. And I was like, okay. So someone's gonna chase me before I get before I get on the motorcycle, and we like plant the motorcycle in a specific location, and then like they're they're also gonna chase me like on the on, on the dirt bike. Hey! Hey! And I'm gonna, bruh. And I'm gonna be on the motorcycle. They're gonna be on the dirt bike, and then we're gonna get to the um. The clearing, which is the party location tag, right? And then, um... Oh, that's crazy. That was the plan, right? But then, um, when we actually started doing it, something weird happened. So, like, the jungle, it also had rocks. 
and like there was like there was like stone areas. I don't know how to explain it, but like imagine like slides but made out of stone. But they don't have like the half pipe. They just have like the um I don't know how to explain it, but like they just have like the part you slide on, but not like the pipe part. I guess that sounds really weird. But like just imagine like flat stone. Alright, that was a four graffiti stairs. A pedal? What? Oh my goodness, I didn't even finish it last time. <laughs> Just said radio! And I'll get back we got to another my letter dream. from Osaki. He says, I burned my house down. What should I do now? How should I know, fool? It turns out uh, the Golden Rhinos are a secret branch of the Rokuku group. They're a dangerous bunch, cool and cruel. They got a martini in one hand and a switchblade in the other. Looks like they're wiping out everyone who tries to hang on the streets. Go on and hit them back. Make them feel you. I saw this part. Just so that, just so that they know how much business we actually mean. We're gonna play combo. Oh, it's like slap slate, whatever this dude's name is. Um, I'm gonna initiate him. But um. With Mew. I haven't played Mew in a while. Let's go. But yeah, even the plan was to go on like a new the new path with these motorcycles. Um I constantly went off path on purpose to like show off. So this was kind of dangerous. Be anyway. Cause the dream also started getting really weird after that. Oh, okay, we got it over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah. So like, cool. basically, yeah. oh that's crazy. I did make it back to the party with the clearing, and you know we celebrated or whatever. But then, this is the same dream by the way. Something happened, right? And I don't remember what it was, but after that, I like got captured. And like they put me in like the school. I, I don't know how to describe it. It was like Monster Hunter Academy, Demon Slayer, uh, My Hero Academia type thing, but except it was like a secret society thing. And like you're like, oh, another one of the trolls. But like this was a dream, right? But like the secret society thing, it was like it wasn't like a nobody knows about it. It was more like a they're taboo, so nobody like likes them, you know. So it's like they have underhanded tactics and methods. They're frowned upon. What? I got captured by them, right? I don't even know why I'm there, because like most of the people that are there, they've been there for like a long time, and they're all like around my age too. This dream is so weird too. I, I'm not gonna get into like details because it gets really weird. There was one teacher, and this. This teacher was really shady. You know when people want you to trust them, but then they tell you nothing. That 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 was this that was this teacher. I don't even remember everything that happened, but there was um something happened, and I was used as a scapegoat for the blame, and so like they put me in like some sort of solitary confinement. Oh, I remember. I remember. So, um, okay, I don't remember everything, but I remember some of it. Not again. <laughs> All right. So the so the so the teacher convicted me at first, right, of like something I didn't do or something like that, and I was like no, and I ran away. And for some reason, my motorcycle was still there, right? This is where like it kind of starts making a little bit of sense, but it's still really weird. Um. Ooh. <laughs> So as I'm like using my motorcycle and I'm like traversing to like backtrack from this like school in the jungle woods area, I'm like looking around and I'm like wow there's a lot of mud here, there's more mud than before, I wish I had a dirt bike, right? So like those like stone slides I mentioned earlier, I go on one of them and I go down it like so I go down it and then it leads into a cave oh, yeah. and in the cave there's a pack of wolves and I see that I'm just like 
what's going on. The pack of wolves, they start like, they're like growling and they're about to start chasing me. I'm like really good at a motorcycle in my dream. I have no idea if this is true in real life because I've never ridden one. But like in my dream, I'm like super good. Oh snap, oh, yeah. hold up. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh snap, hold up, hold up. Wait, no. You know what? what? I actually didn't see third times of Charles at a time. That's crazy. Fourth time for good luck. So the wolves, right? But the wolves, right? They chase me, but they don't find me. And then I find a tree, right? And I just sleep on one of the branches. And then I wake up. And then the teacher's there and a few other students are there. And then the teacher's just like, I hope you had a good nap, right? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I'm weirded out because I'm tired and he's like I hope I taught you how to use the rope right and I'm so confused but then I realize I'm tied onto the tree branch and I'm, I'm scared like what are you doing and then he's like like oh the wolves are gonna have a nice little snack and then he's like almost unless you can survive I'm like what and he's like yeah you can hear and see everything so like if they come close to you you know you'll just be ready for them because you'll know they're there and I'm like, but I need to go to sleep. And then he's like, oh, yeah, sleep. Hmm, I forgot about that. Anyway, have fun. That's what the teacher, that was the teacher's attitude. I'm so serious. And then I was just like, oh, what am I supposed to do? And I don't know how this happened, but it switched from outside to like this lobby area inside of a building. And I don't know how I got there, but like, I guess it was me. Cause it couldn't have been anything else obviously because you know I, it's my dream but like and everyone in the school is weird but i'm not weird yet so like i mean like nothing back at it it's probably me but i somehow changed from like the school not the school from outside oh i did it slate has joined me finally jeez but yeah oh wait look at his intro that's right. That's right. Slate is the most graffiti out of everyone, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, as I was saying, with my dream, there were like a few students there. The school was like, it was kind of like one of those schools where like you live there, you know? But like, yeah, as I said, like, I guess it was like me that like, I transported myself to school. And, but like the rope was still attached, and like it was attached to like some sort of pipe in the ceiling. So, like, that was really strange. And so, like, I'm like, I gotta find a way to escape, right? And so, like, there's another student, she's there for like no reason. I have no idea why. And then she's just vacant, right? And then she's just telling me, like, oh no, you shouldn't do that. Or if you do it, do it this way, so that like you won't get caught, I'm like, okay? And I'm just listening to her, right? Here's what happened next, right? We heard the door opening, right? And then there was there was two doors that led to this area that went to the bathroom. So she she heard it, right? And she knew that the, the one door that we heard opening was actually locked, but the other one wasn't locked. She like opened the other door and she ran away, right? And I didn't, I actually didn't untie myself yet. But I was getting close to it, and then the door opened, and then um, we hear two voices and like some jingling, right? Like some like 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 cash, a like cash or chain noises, I guess. And you know, we just hear kill kill the two that call themselves Loki, and we're like, what? What's going on? What are you talking about? My name's not Loki. Y'all, y'all, y'all are mistaken, right? And but there were only two of us in here, right? Someone who just randomly clicked on this would be like, "Oh no, this guy thought he was the main character of Loki." Like, no, not even. It was just a weird dream. So I remember now, the dog, right? It was some sort of pit bull breed, and it had like brown and orange fur, kind of like, kind of like the pattern of like a tiger or a jaguar or something. It was actually pretty friendly, so the dog came in the room. I don't know how I saw it, because it was pitch black, but I saw the dog perfectly clearly. And the dog was like sniffing around at first. 
and the dog actually went to the corner where the girl was first, but she wasn't there anymore, and the dog was moving around, and after that, the dog came over to me, I was like, whoa, okay, like at first I was kind of scared, but then I was like, you know, there's nothing to fear, right, because I'm, because I'm not Loki, the dog was actually super friendly, like, there was nothing to be afraid of. Like, I was chilling. I was like, hee hee hee, I outsmarted this guy, right? So I sent the dog back to its owner. Yeah, after I sent the dog back to its owner, both doors were now unlocked. So I untied myself, and after I untied myself, I broke free. I escaped through one of the doors, and I had to do, like, a little bit of, like, baiting and juking. And then we kept hearing, like, the dog. I hear the teacher. He's like, psst, psst. And I, I'm, I'm just like, what, 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 what? But I'm like mad, right? And I'm like, what did you do to me? And he's like, I was testing you. It was all a part of the training process. You see, if you were out there on your own, I wanted you to know how this guy would act because this is how he targets people. See, if I didn't, if I didn't tell you anything, his logic was like, basically like, if I just let you stay out there, celebrating your birthday then you would have never <laughs> learned to protect yourself from this guy because he's hunting you and I'm like what <laughs> and he's like why do you think I said a, f a name that isn't yours and I'm like that makes no sense I mean it makes a little bit of sense but it makes no sense why would you even put me in harm's way he's because he's hunting you and then the dream ended I want I wonder if my mind will have a part two though it was so weird <laughs> Yeah. All right. It was Benson Trump again. You know it. <laughs> Another pedal. All right, let's go back to the garage. Let's get scratching. Ooh, that was a weird dream. Jet Set Radio. And now, this reports my informant and Benton Cho, the pink no shijin. The thing everyone's been hunting for like crazy is something called the Devil's Contract. It's a record that's got the power to summon a demon. The streets of Tokyo To are in a panic, and we're gonna have to cut off this broadcast soon. Can the GG graffiti save this city? Nah. That's what I was talking about all those parts ago. Where the story gets super edgy. But you know, you know, combo, combo's gonna save the day. Oh yeah. Kick. Wow, kid. <laughs> a freaky gang is bombing Shibuya. Don't they know this is our turf? Freaky gang is bombing Shibuya. Don't they know that this is our turf? Huh. Hey. hey. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I thought I knew where the bomb was though, that's crazy. Oh. Duh, this makes sense. So this... Not spikes this time. Yup. <laughs> Man, I was gonna make a Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi joke. Alright, so I actually watched the, fi the footage back of part 4? or five I think it was and I know how to do that speed thing that I did alright all right. then we're gonna I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night and day that's how you do it that's how you do it <laughs> you get out of the car and then you jump off of it huh? who are you Licky Bandit. No. I, I I can't do this. I can't do this. One track mind. Yeah. FBI, open up! What? Yeah. Hey! Oh yeah. I'm out of here, deuces. I haven't been here 
I haven't been this way since yeah. like 2017. Hey! Over there! Ah! Yeah! Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Uh-huh. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah! Uh-huh. And that is Bring it on. Wow, I got a pedal and four graffiti so that's crazy, but um I think this is pretty much chapter three. DJK DJK Jet Set Radio The nasty rubber composers have all been covered up by GG Graffiti. Way to go! But when they weren't looking, someone swiped the record. No we gotta go after him, right? Should I do it now or should I do it later? I mean, uh, why not? It's on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, that's easy. All right, we got that. That work. I probably get ready to join my crew. You know, you just said radio is the single one game. It made me think rollerblades and roller skates were cooler than skateboards. Their time's a charm. Oh! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that's. Huh. Oh. Oh, that was easy. That's right. Piranha was the easiest one to get to join my crew. You guys had you guys had as much fun as I did. Hope you guys had an amazing day. A wonderful day. A good day, great day, splendid day. And uh yeah, I'll see you next time. It's probably gonna be the last part. Um I do have a game picked out. Um hopefully I don't disappoint anyone for the next one. And for the game after that game, um, I'm thinking, I don't know if I should put a post, I don't know. Let me know if you guys want me to do another post, or if I should just pick the game. But, yeah. Deuces.